In a previous Mac OS tip video, I talked about Spotlight and using that as a way to open up apps, kind of as an app launcher. So if you wanted to open up Final Cut, you would just do Command, Space Bar, start typing in Final, and there you see Final Cut Pro. Hit the Return key, and it'll go and open up Final Cut Pro. Well, that's one way to open apps. Another way is to use the launch pad, which is down here in the dock, this little rocket ship icon. When you click on Launchpad, it shows you a list of your applications similar to a layout of apps like you would see on an iPhone or an iPad. You can then go and click on any one of these apps and it'll go and open that app. So that's what Launchpad is. It's very simple. There's not a lot to it. You can go and hold down the Option key on your keyboard, which I'm doing now, and the apps will start to jiggle. And this allows you to click and drag an app onto another app and you can drop it down and it makes a folder for those apps. So if you think we talked about pages, numbers, and Keynote yesterday, we could put those into a productivity folder if we wanted to, to organize those apps. And then just like you would see on an iPhone or an iPad, there's multiple pages signified by these little dots at the bottom. So you can click on one of these dots or just click and drag across the page to go over to the second or next page of apps. So we can see some more apps on this page. Many of these apps here are third-party apps that were not included with Mac OS that were installed later on. So you will see not only your built-in apps, but you'll also see any third-party apps come up on that screen as well. So that's what Launchpad is. Pretty straightforward. You can get to it uh, just by clicking that icon on the, the dock at the bottom. You can also go into System Preferences go to the uh, desktop and screensaver system preference pane. And we'll go over to screensaver here. And then in the lower right corner, you have hot corners. So you can actually set up one of the corners to go to Launchpad as well. So I'm gonna set the top right corner to go to Launchpad. And what that means is just if I throw the cursor here up into the corner, it opens up Launchpad. So that's another thing you can do with Launchpad. And then another app I want to point out in this um, video, just as another Mac OS tip, is the Maps app, just because I didn't have somewhere else to put it. So here's Maps. You can think of this as the same Maps that you see on an iPhone or an iPad on your mobile devices. And this is just a great way to go in and view a map. I mean, that, that's really all it is. You do get transit directions, satellite directions, uh, you also get the 3D flyovers of different cities. So if we wanted to go and uh, take a tour of Chicago, for example, we can click on the little 3D icon and it'll, or a little 3D button there, and then you'll hit the tour button here to take a tour of that location. So this switched over to the satellite view and is loading the three-dimensional kind of layout of the city that's been created uh, through maps. And when you're doing one of these flyover tours, it actually is pretty nice because it'll give you a tour of different locations. So here's the Field Museum, for example, in Chicago. And you can see at the bottom, it'll put up the names of these different landmarks that you're seeing in the city. So not only are you kind of seeing a couple of the attractions of the cities, uh, you're getting a tour of the city in 3D. So it's not like you're just seeing these various um, attractions and and uh, major points of a city, you're also seeing the entire city. And at any point in time, you can stop the tour and navigate around. So uh, say we want to stop here and see what buildings are around. I'll just click and drag on the tour here and I could go and move it to a different spot. And since we're still doing the tour, it takes the tour right back over if I, I don't end it. Um, here we can go and see the, the bean, also known as cloud gate. Um, so if I wanted to stop it, I'll just hit the end button and it stops it, it flipped it back to the map view, and we can see here, but if I wanted to, I can switch over to satellite view and view that as well. There are many additional things you could do with the map app, and I would recommend playing around with it. Anytime you see a little icon here, you can click on the icon, um, and it'll bring up information about that specific area, whether it be a restaurant, or in this case, it's for the ice rink, which is clearly not an ice rink in that picture, um, but you get all kinds of different um, destinations on the map as well. So I'll use this very frequently when I'm searching around for either a place to eat or another specific type of attraction. I'll either just visually look at it and see what's in my area, which you can use the button at the top left to go right to where you're at. 
Um, or you can search for something. You can use this to search for things like Yelp uh, entries and other things. So if I was wanting a burger here, I could type in burger, hit return, and it's going to search for a whole bunch of area or locations that uh, fit that description. So uh, at some point in these restaurants and in these different places, they've put up uh, their, that they're a burger joint or maybe on their menu they have a burger, so they're showing up here. We can see star reviews and other information coming over from Yelp. And if we click on one of these uh, places, let's go to Shake Shack, for example. I can hit the little I for information about that location. And again, we can see star reviews, the price, all kinds of information, um, information coming from Yelp. So, um, yeah, that's the map app. There's a lot to it, a lot of information in it and built into it. And when you look at using Spotlight, for example, to search for things, a lot of map entries will come up here as well. So uh, don't hesitate to look at this. Take a look at it while you're using your own computer. You'll see the weather built in. You can go up uh, into the map preferences as well to get additional information in different settings, things like traffic you can show um, and some other stuff on there. So that's the map app that's built into Mac OS and a look at Launchpad. So make sure to subscribe. You'll see our next tip coming up tomorrow.